Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us for the 2019 CIAA basketball tournament post game wrap up. We are joined by the Broncos of Fairville State University, led by head coach Serena King Coleman. Coach, please introduce your student athletes and open the discussion with remarks regarding this afternoon's game. Okay, to my far right, I have uh, Brittany Drumrule. Uh, right next to me, I have uh, Katisha Hyman. And to my left, I have uh, Chiwindu Manawaymo. I get it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, recap of the game. Uh, you know, I thought Wisdom City uh, played very hard for this to be their fourth game this week. Um, um, but our kids came out and they played, they played well, they played together. Um, total team defensive effort. Um, you know, we had five people in, in double figures and I, I couldn't be more pleased for the way we played collectively together. And we'll now open the floor for questions. Please identify your media affiliation and who your question is directed to. Sir. Uh, Nero B. Coleman, Fable Press Newspaper. Coach, you know, uh, defense has been your all's game throughout the season. Now that you're going to face uh, the, your next opponent, um, they've got a, a player uh, that, that I, I, I figured, that even though your team defense is, 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 is great, uh, are there going to be any particular types of changes you're going to have to possibly make for, for the, the, the different player that's coming? Well, we, we haven't had time to think about that. She's, been, she's had a, a, an awesome tournament, right. um, um, but we'll, we'll be prepared for it. Um, but we won't go into any details right now. No. I got a question for you. Um, the game was relatively close. I mean, y'all were pretty much led most of the first half, but, you know, Little City hung in. Then the second half, like y'all pretty much dominated half. What happened at halftime? Any adjustments or just more, you know, just talk to the girls about, you know, more effort or what, what was the difference in the second half? Uh, you know, our first halves are, we know that the game is going to be close. The second half is it's not a ton of adjustments. It's just more, uh, you know, we're talking about little details of people who may be getting some shots off. Uh, but for the most part, our third quarter is our big quarter, um, and we talk about that a lot. Um, we come out um, out of the half and, and we try to get up on people and then we maintain throughout the fourth. So um, they know that the third quarter is big um, and that's what we focus on. Um, and two, probably Elizabeth City was getting a little tired and we wanted to keep the, the pressure on them and, and keep uh, the tempo up pace. Oh, Adrian. Adrian Bongo, Adrian Ferguson. Uh, uh, questions for Chi Chi. Uh, this is your senior season. Uh, you had a big game tonight here in Charlotte. Can you talk about tonight's game? Um, well, with tonight's game, I really was determined along with the rest of my seniors. We know this is our last go around and like one that's it for our whole entire career. So our goal has been to make it to the championship. So me, Kim, Britt, we all decided to like go out because it's like we're all the seniors on the team and. We just decided like leave it all today, be great, and along with the other team, they felt that energy. I feel like, and they all brought it as well. Sure. John, I know you're the SDP for for coach. Uh, on that subject, you got a lot of offense from some different people. How big was that today? Uh, it was huge. I mean, that's one of the things that we've been emphasizing all year is that we don't need one person to take over. But you can see we have a ton of talent in any on any given night. Uh, somebody else steps up for somebody else. Uh, the, the pleasure was to see five people get in double figures. That means that was a total team effort, and that's what we emphasize. We emphasize assist. Uh, we, we emphasize team, even though we have great individuals. Uh, while we play an HBC game, and this is for the players, um, <coughs> just knowing you have one game left, what's it like in the locker room, and how are y'all bonding together knowing that like this is it and y'all can leave here with a ship? Um, it's a great feeling to be honest. When we went in the locker room, <coughs> when we went in the locker room, we was all excited. You know how the feeling is this year. But right now, we know how serious it, serious it is as a team to go in tomorrow and have a business. Hopefully, we all can come together tomorrow and do the same thing that we did yesterday. Okay, if there are no more questions, thank you, coach, student athletes, for your time, and congratulations on advancing to the championship game. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.